Hello and welcome. My name is Jason, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get connected and up and running using the System Navigator app and an L-Class Line Array system. QC SysNav, or System Navigator, is an iPad OS or Windows application that allows you to easily design, configure, control, monitor, and apply signal processing to individual loudspeakers or full arrays. To get started, we'll first need to download the System Navigator app onto an iPad or a Windows laptop or desktop computer. From a Windows computer, you can visit qsc.com, navigate to the SysNav download page by hovering above the Resources link at the top of the page, and then selecting System Navigator Software. We'll also include a link to this page in the description of this video. On the download page, click the Windows App button. Enter your QSC ID or click Sign Up to get one started. Once logged in, the download will begin automatically. When the download is complete, you can open the app installer and follow the prompts to complete the installation. If you're using an iPad, simply open the App Store app and search for QSC System Navigator and click the Get button to download and install the app. With SysNav installed on our device, we can now get connected with an L-Class Line Array. Now this can be done either as a wired connection using Ethernet cables or a wireless connection over a Wi-Fi network. If you're using a Windows computer and want to make a wired connection, you will need to use a network switch. Connect your arrays to the network switch using Ethernet cable runs. You can connect the top or bottom loudspeaker of each array into the switch. From there, you can use the EtherCon in and through ports to daisy chain the rest of the array together. Next, connect your laptop or PC to the same switch and you're all set. To connect your device wirelessly, we're still going to make a wired connection from the arrays, but we're going to use a router instead of a network switch so that we can create a wireless network. To connect the arrays, use the LAN or LAN ports on the mixer, not the WAN port. The WAN port is expecting a connection to the internet and is what you would use to connect a modem from an internet service provider. Now, simply open the network settings on your iPad or laptop device and connect to the wireless network being created by the router. Once the device has been successfully connected to the router, you can launch the SysNav app and it should automatically detect and connect to the array over the existing network. On the home screen, you will find the number of devices currently connected to SysNav under the System Status section. You will also see the status of the SysNav network connection, a Dante connection if Dante is being used, and the firmware status, which will reconcile the current firmware versions on all of the connected loudspeakers against the app version being run. It will also recommend updating any loudspeakers that might be on a previous or alternate version. Now you have the option to navigate into the control and monitoring screens, or you can use the menu button in the upper left hand corner to navigate to the AIM module or the preferences and update screens. We'll cover the AIM and control modules as well as updating firmware in more detail in separate videos. For now, let's take a look at the preferences screen. On this screen, we have some basic settings options, including the unit of measurements you prefer, either metric or imperial. You can also set the default audience listening heights for the AIM module. You also have the ability to toggle the confirmation messages either on or off. On this screen, we also have the link to the System Navigator help file, which takes you directly to the help file portal. Here you can see information about SysNav release versions, as well as pull up help file articles using the search bar. And that takes us through the initial setup and connection of SysNav to an L-Class line array system. The next few videos will cover the AIM module, control module, as well as updating the firmware in much more detail. Move on whenever you're ready.